all you can eat sashimi, all you can eat nigiri, all you can eat rolls at the hottest all you can eat sushi restaurant in Orange County. Look at this presentation. This is pretty nice for an all you can eat sushi restaurant. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Orange County, specifically in the city of Tustin, because I'm gonna be checking out a rockin' all-you-can-eat sushi spot. I am here at Sushi Damu. There are a lot of all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants in Orange County, but the question is, which one is the best? Well, I've heard from a lot of sources that Sushi Damu might actually be it. A lot of people are talking great things about this restaurant. So I encourage you, stick all the way to the end because you don't want to miss this amazing all-you-can-eat sushi meal that I'm about to have here at one of the hottest sushi restaurants in Orange County. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be going into this restaurant for lunch and be ordering a lot of sushi. Here we go. Sushi Damu has been here for a number of years now, and like I said, it is one of the most popular and highly rated all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants in Orange County. I'm here for lunchtime, and it looks like it's about $35.95 from Monday through Friday up until 3 p.m. Sounds pretty reasonable. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not that expensive either. Look how everything is broken down. You have the nigiri, which is traditional two-piece sushi. And they also have the sashimi option, which is uh, broken down into carpaccio, as well as the sashimi. And I heard that their fish is pretty good here, so it's worth getting sashimi. And they also got a lot of rolls. I'm talking about a lot of rolls. It's also worth noting that they have a lot of drinks on the menu. We're not just talking about sodas and iced tea. We're talking about cocktails. You see that, lychee martini. Wow, that's pretty cool. They got a tablet here that you can order from. Signature rolls, they got some pictures. Well, that's the price if you get it a la carte, but with all you can eat, you can pretty much get any of these for $35.95 lunch. These are definitely the appetizers. Look how good they look. We have shrimp tempura, which I always like. And this one is the Ika Gesso which is deep fried squid legs, comes with some dipping sauce. And that is agadashi tofu, which is basically battered fried tofu. And that one, my favorite, baked mussels. I guess while I'm waiting for the sushi to come out, might as well just get started with some of this. Mmm, very crispy. Yep, tempura definitely hits the spot. I don't know if you guys like it, but I think we should get it. I'm pretty sure I've had this in other sushi restaurants before, but I don't think I've had it under the name of Ika Gesso. Mm-hmm. Just like the tempura, very crunchy. I know some people don't really like squid, but I think this is worth trying. It's like so nice and chewy, bite-sized, and it's so crispy too. It's like my kind of squid. Okay, now here's something that I know I'm gonna like because I always get it at all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants. Oh, yeah. Oh, huh. Seriously, I could sit here and eat like dozens of these if I didn't have to focus on the sushi. Now, here's something I've never seen before in a uh, sushi restaurant. This is called the froze, which is like a slushy pineapple, watermelon, and they usually add soju in it. So this is kind of like a slushy alcoholic drink. Mine does not have any alcohol in there, completely fine. I like it the way it is because it's nice and sweet. Oh, wow, I feel like I'm drinking a Slurpee or something. Oh, well, that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, all my sushi came out. Look at the way it's presented. I didn't expect this at all. I thought they were just gonna come out in those small white plates. Oh man, this is crazy. You see, on this one we have the nigiri and the sashimi and carpaccio all going on. Like the ikura, salmon eggs, spicy scallop, and there's that piece of crab, a tamago, and you got some assorted sashimi, and they use high-grade salmon, bluefin tuna. You heard that right. 
And then on this side, we got albacore carpaccio, got mackerel carpaccio, some octopus, some more bluefin tuna, uh-huh. Salmon, yellowtail, I got shrimp, and I think that's red snapper, and albacore, yikes. All right, well definitely in terms of visuals, they got their game going on, uh-huh. Before I start, it is worth mentioning that they have this Kazami wasabi, which is fresh grated pickled wasabi. And I heard that the bluefin comes from Spain and this is omakase quality. That is pretty nuts. All right, let's try this. Mm. That is some pretty high quality bluefin tuna. Mm-hmm. Oh, they even have some sashimi too. Try it without the rice. Okay, off to a good start so far. And I heard that this salmon is from Norway. Okay, pretty fancy too. Hmm. That's like really melt in your mouth. It's one of their highlight foods here. But then I also heard their yellowtail from Japan is a highlight, which is another omakase grade quality fish. Oh, that's a good yellowtail. I have no complaints. This is so good so far. I'm enjoying it. I really am. Hmm. Okay, so that eel, I would say, is a little bit more like your typical all-you-can-eat sushi. So not like omakase quality, but still, I like eels. So to me, it's like it's good. I like it. Mmm. Yeah. I like how those little eggs just pop in your mouth. Albacore is like one of my five things to get at a sushi restaurant. Mmm. -hmm. Enjoyable. No complaints about that either. So far, I am enjoying this meal a lot. This is definitely better than a typical all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant. And their sushi rolls are very popular. I'm not surprised to hear that. All the way to the top, that's the uh, Jenjen sushi roll. And that's the Tustin with the salmon and avocado. And that one to the third is albacore galore, as they call it and uh, exotic tiger, which has eel and salmon, avocado, all that stuff. Now that albacore galore is truly glorious. Look at all that fried onions on top. And I think that's spicy tuna inside. Mm-hmm, yeah. Spicy tuna inside and albacore and crispiness on top. It's like my kind of roll. I think this Tustin roll has tuna, is that yellowtail? And some soy paper underneath, okay. Okay, so far I think that Tustin roll is my favorite one. Because in it you get more fish and you get that delicious soy paper wrap. Less rice, because rice is a filler. Okay. Jen, Jen roll. This looks like salmon that's wrapped over a whole bunch of crab meat with avocado. Mm. Very creamy. So if you guys are into crab, that's the one you gotta get. I mean, salmon's a very good compliment too. Overall, the rolls are pretty nice. That one's the yellowtail and the scallop hand roll. And to the right is the 911 roll. And this one is called the Cherry Bomb. I guess I know why they call it cherry, because look at the color, uh-huh. This Cherry Bomb is so thick. Look at all that salmon that's in the center of it. Yeah, I like that one too. I tend to like rolls that have more fish and less rice in it. Rice is fine, but the more fish you have in it, I feel it's so much more enjoyable. You're, you're really getting your money's worth. You don't want to let these hand rolls sit way too long because the seaweed's going to get kind of flimsy. Mm. That's a mouthful. 
they really pack these rolls with a lot of fish. And I did tell you that this is really high grade yellowtail, right? Even these hand rolls are pretty killer here. And I heard that their scallop roll is very popular here too. I don't remember when was the last time I had a scallop hand roll. Wow. A lot of scallop. I told you, they really pack it in with a lot of fish in these rolls. To me, that's a big plus. Maybe I'll do some shrimp next. Okay, that's very easy to eat. What can I say? It's like cooked shrimp over rice. Always tastes good. Those rolls look very appetizing, but I really have to focus on the high-grade sashimi. So back at it with the bluefin tuna. Mmm. I think out of all the all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants I've been to so far, I think this place has the best sashimi. The fact that they offer these really nice cuts of yellowtail, tuna and salmon, it just shows they're going the extra distance. See, look how much more I still have to go through. Oh, that albacore looks so good. Yep, top stuff. I think I might actually be done after this round. When I eat sushi, usually I like to go to a la carte and uh, omakase restaurants because with all you can eat, it's always like a hit or a miss. But I'm very surprised by this restaurant. I mean, it's not Michelin star food, but this is definitely one of the much better all you can eat sushi restaurants I've been to. The food is great, fish is fresh, uh, presentation all around is really nice, and they even have some cuts that are omakase quality, omakase level. Yeah, I think this is as good of a sushi experience as it's gonna get here in Southern California. So if you are in Orange County and you're looking for all you can eat for a very reasonable price, Sushi Damu is pretty much the place you gotta be, and I can see why it's such a popular spot. All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out to some of the staff, Ethan and Jacob. So come in here, tell them and the staff that you saw this episode, and they're going to hook you up with a free froze. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Come on in. Come on in, guys. All right. And that froze, you can get it with alcohol, too, just letting you know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.